Hello parents, my name is Greg Ritchie, and I'm a National Curriculum Specialist with McGraw-Hill, specifically focusing on K-5 through social studies. As a former teacher myself, I know the importance and challenges of being able to take resources that we're used to using just at school or sometimes for homework, and then implementing that and enhancing it for the full learning experience that we are now forced with sometimes when teaching and learning from home. So in the next few minutes, I'd just like to take you through a quick walkthrough of Impact Online, which is the online platform that supports Impact California Social Studies, which is the curriculum that your students and your children have to use at their schools for social studies. I'm logged in here to a demo student account. This would look very similar to the online platform that your students would be familiar with with their own credentials. If you're not sure or if your child is not sure what their own login information is, be sure that they reach out to their teacher. And if their teacher doesn't know, they can always reach out to us here at McGraw-Hill. What you're looking at right now is called the dashboard. Just like any dashboard, the purpose of that is one place where you can go to a lot of different places from there. What I'd like to encourage you to check out first is this part right here. It's called the ebook options. Ebook is simply means electronic book. Your students at school, they may be familiar with three different print books that they have access to. There's actually two, but inside one of them, there's actually two different things. That's called the research companion. And in the back of that book, there's something called the weekly explorer magazine. This provides really nice in-depth content, sometimes at a lesson level, sometimes at a chapter level, all sorts of different genres that help really help your students do research and do investigation into various social studies topics and the standards that they are meeting in school. All right. So those are two of them. And then the first one there you can see is called the inquiry journal. This is kind of like a work text, kind of like a detective's notebook. We like calling it. This one is one that comes to them. It's like their own personal book. They can write in it and they take notes and they reflect all throughout the year as they work through the inquiry journal. But here with impact online, we've provided an ebook. So if I click on this ebook right here, I can actually see just simply a digital copy as if I was projecting this so here's the visual representation of that print inquiry journal here, left and right arrows. What do you think that means? Certainly turn the page. So here I'm turning the virtual page as I go through. Now, I don't want to turn all the pages. Maybe I want to go to a specific chapter. Over here, we've got a table of contents icon. You can click that. And now I can go right down here to, for instance, chapter four. Maybe that's what we were working on last. All right. If I want to zoom in, if I want to really look at that better or my eyes can't quite focus in on that small of print, I can click up here and I can switch to what's called album mode. I just really call it single page mode. I click it and then I see one page and now I can use these magnifying glasses to zoom in and then to zoom out. Also, it's nice here, there's a little speaker icon there which provides audio support for me if I want to have that text read to me, all right? One more tip I'd like to share with you is this little pop out button right there, that little arrow. If I click it, it puts it into its own tab. So now one tab of my browser right now is completely dedicated to my inquiry journal. So if I go back to the first tab, Right here, here's where I left off. So now I close out of that overlay or pop-up window and I'm back to my dashboard. Now I can open up my research companion and maybe I wanna pop this one out into its own tab as well. And now I've got the inquiry journal here and now I've got the research companion that's opening as well. All right, and I could do that with all three resources or whichever ones I was simply wanting to look at at that particular time. So maybe that right there is enough to get you going and for you to be able to help your children with their own social studies learning from home. But I do wanna show you one other thing. We have these things called landing pages. Think about this. If you were to take all the content from one particular lesson and look at that content within the inquiry journal, within the research companion, and the explore magazine, one particular lesson, or let's just say one chapter, and put it all into one place, that's what we are doing with these landing pages with Impact Online. So I'm gonna come over here to where it says Browse My Course. I'm gonna click that arrow. It drops it down, because it's a drop down, right? And now I can see chapter three, a change in content, or chapter four, Road to War. And then I see more arrows where I can dive deeper into a lesson. And then this lesson, if I click this, which I will, I'm gonna click that, and then all of the content that's from each one of those individual resources is blended and integrated together onto this online landing page. All right, so that's kind of help, helps the flow as we think about bringing all three of those resources together. 
Now, when we look at a landing page, I love this. There's an inquiry path. We've done a lot of research at McGraw-Hill. We have a great authorship team that helps us figure out how your students, how your children learn best. And there's this inquiry flow of engage, investigate, and then report on. Like, because we want to spark their interest and give them an opportunity to really investigate and dive deep and then do something with what they've learned as well. So all those content, all these little pieces are broken down here for your students these are different pieces from within the lesson. There's the inquiry journal ebook. This is just the same thing we looked at before, but here's a little part of that. Here's another, another little part of that. That's a little talk about, a little collaboration piece. Here we're exploring cause and effect. And then as we go down and we investigate into this lesson, these are all different pieces that are pulled from all three of those various resources. All right, so different pieces. And your teachers for your students and for your children they kind of make selections of which of these features or which of these elements or bits and pieces of the lesson they want to prioritize and make sure your students are learning. But here they all are. Some of them are really fun. They're interactive. We can explore maps. Some of them we can draw on and more. But that's what this landing page allows you to do. All right. And then notice a couple of buttons that are just kind of helpful along this way as we navigate. Expand all collapse all. So if I collapse all there, they're all closed again. It kind of sorts them out in my mind schematically because sometimes you'll look at all those when you're expanding them all or you open up and you're getting kind of lost of like where you are. So just remember, you can always come back here and click on expand all. I can also click launch presentation, which takes them all and puts them kind of into a ready-made slideshow. It's kind of fun. And I can open up the tray and see all those various slides there that are ready to use myself. And then I can just almost like turn the page of this particular presentation. All right. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm going to go back to home and I want to show you one final thing. And that's down here where it says impact news. Impact news. As I click it, you see a new tab open. This is McGraw-Hill's current events website that is updated on the first day of every month with current and relevant content. Here, look at this, working from home, or how does the government help in health emergencies? These are really that fantastic, vetted, curated articles about what's going on in the world right now and how it's relevant to your children. So I encourage you, click these articles. There's also translations in Spanish as well. You can look through the archives. We've been doing this for a few years now. Look at old ones. Look at ones that connect to science. Look at ones that connect specifically to social studies and more. All right. I hope this has been helpful. I want to thank you again so much for your time, for all that you're doing right now in this challenging time. As they are home, you've got different challenges and kind of our whole lives are just kind of in limbo right now. I wish you the very best and I thank you for partnering with us here at McGraw-Hill.